A day in the life of an airship pilot is always different, actually. So today we are in a different state and we are doing passenger flights. So we started in the morning and we're working kind of a nine to five type job today, uh, doing passenger flights all day. But yesterday we had a long flight down from Ohio to Maryland, uh, just transiting, which I really enjoy. It's a beautiful way to see the country. So our schedule always varies. Sometimes it's transiting, sometimes it's sporting events, sometimes it's passenger flights or even exposure, just flying around with, for people to see the Goodyear sign. But it always changes and that's one thing I really like about it is it's never the same. I got excited about aviation at a young age. My father had been a paratrooper in the Army, and so he really enjoyed aviation. So I grew up going to air shows and uh, air museums with him. So I went to Kent State University. They have a flight program, and that's where I did all my training, got all of my certifications, and then I instructed there to build up my flight time. But then one day I saw the Goodyear blimp, blimp flying by and got kind of curious how you become an airship pilot. I knew it was an additional rating you needed on your certificate. So I sent out my resume to the few companies and got really lucky and fortunate that one was hiring. And uh, I thought it would just be a temporary thing, but that was 18 years ago. So <laughs> I really enjoy flying the airships. Uh, it's a great view. It's a great life. It's a great aircraft to fly and uh, I haven't had any regrets. I haven't been on um, a straight path where I've only done aviation for years and years. I have taken some breaks. Uh, I've really enjoyed sailing, which is a lot like flying. So the sail on a sailboat is very similar to the wing on an airplane. I was fortunate enough to sail around the world on a tall ship and spent a few of my, years of my life sailing on tall ships. And then a dream that my mom and I had had for many years was to hike the Appalachian Trail from Georgia to Maine. So I took a break a few years ago to walk really far and really enjoyed it. But you don't have to just choose one thing and only do that. You should be aware, especially in aviation, there are opportunities to, to do other things and to come and go. And as long as you keep yourself proficient and stay on top of things, you can enjoy a lot of different aspects of life. I take every opportunity I can to any children, but especially girls, to go over and talk to them when I see them at the fence or at the side of the airport watching. It's amazing how many parents, when they see me, ask, uh, can, you, can you take a picture for me to show my daughter, or can you talk to my daughter? And um, I love when, when the girls are out at the fence just like the boys. That's how it should be.